Before we jump into today's video, quick Marvel trivia question. In an interview, Marvel's What If showrunner AC Bradley actually admitted that this series was heavily inspired by a different television series. But which television series serves as a major inspiration for the What If series? Leave your answers in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out what the answer is. Let's go ahead and jump into it. It just abates the symptoms. Stark, you okay? Stark. Tony. Please not do anything awful for five seconds. What'd you just do to me? What did we just do for you? That's lithium dioxide. It's gonna take the edge off. We're trying to get you back to work. Agent Romanov, you miss me? Oh yeah, Charles, we got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Guys. Yeah, big fan. Hey, everyone. hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies and the What If series has been a really interesting series that takes a look at some key moments from the Marvel Cinematic Universe's history and previous films and reworks them where one slight difference can lead to a massive different type of story. And this has been an example used in all of the episodes so far, and we've gotten to see some very interesting creative narrative journeys that we haven't gotten to see ever before. And it's been something really awesome to see. So today we wanted to look at some of the moments that were repurposed in the What If series and look at the original counterpart that inspired the scene. For instance, we've seen already a couple of times in What If where they take a scene that is very iconic and serves as one of the big starting points or inciting incidences for various characters and spin them in a very different way. We see this with things like Steve Rogers' transformation or Doctor Strange's car crash, and it's interesting how they put a unique twist on it for what if. As will ever be. Agent Carter, don't you think it would be more comfortable in the booth? Oh yes, yeah, of course. Sorry. Then on the flip side, while some scenes aren't necessarily directly repurposed scenes from the original Marvel Cinematic Universe, there is a very unique take that is utilized where they take these thematic ideas or some sort of imagery that was used in the original film and finds a different way to incorporate it into the What If series, even if the plot and setting doesn't necessarily take place exactly the way that it did in the movie, it's cool to see how they still bring these concepts back. We actually see this with the character Killmonger and especially with the character Vision and it's really cool how they do that. But first we wanted to give a quick reminder we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately so if you guys want to follow us on Instagram check it out link in the description there's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there so make sure you guys are following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story. <laughs> Each one is for a kill. I was really hoping you wouldn't make the cut. You could never hurt me. I just feel you. Then on the flip side, we've seen the What If series take fans to memorable locations from the Marvel Cinematic Universe's vast history of different settings and places, and sometimes change up the approach on how the scene ends up playing out, or what ends up occurring in the scene. It's always cool to see how things can end up playing differently. For instance, one major scene can be the train sequence from Captain America The First Avenger, where during the train sequence, we see Steve think that he loses Bucky. But this plays out very differently in the What If series, but there's still that sense of loss when Peggy thinks she loses Steve. 
Thanks. You almost ripped my arm off. And just in general, the whole train sequence being repurposed for What If is really cool. They also repurposed a really interesting location with Guardians of the Galaxy for the Black Panther Guardians of the Galaxy crossover. So these two moments are really awesome, how they took a setting and brought it to life in a new way. Party without saying goodbye. Something tells me this happens to you a lot. <laughs> We've also seen some really cool things where they do stuff with the characters directly, like a character that has a story arc that hasn't fully necessarily gotten the chance to be fleshed out in the main films yet, is still serving as a framing device for things that are still going on in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We can see this with Bruce Banner's character especially. So, Avengers. Yeah. Hey, big guy. Kind of counting on you here. Things are pretty bad. It'd be nice for you to be the hero. Concentrate here for a second. Come on, come on, Max. Where's your gun? I don't know. We've sort of been having a thing. There's no time for a thing. That's the thing right there. Let's go. Dude, you're embarrassing me from the wizard. I'm sorry. I, 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 but what are your thoughts on the What If series? Have you enjoyed the episodes that we've seen so far and would you like to see more of this in the future? Perhaps more seasons down the road? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every single day of the week. If you guys didn't know, every single Monday we do a challenging Marvel trivia question. So if you guys want to participate, make sure you guys are subscribed here to Film Artsy. Head over to our community tab on Mondays and participate in our Marvel Monday question for a chance to have your comment featured right here on this channel. We also do DC Thursdays if DC is more of your thing and you can still participate by going over to our community tab have on Thursdays, so make sure you guys participate if you want a chance of having your comment featured right here. As far as the trivia question from the beginning of the video, AC Bradley actually in an interview said that he was heavily inspired by the Twilight Zone, and we can see that inspiration directly with the way that they have narrator in each episode through The Watcher, and the fact that each episode kind of serves as a detached anthology type show really makes it obvious where this level of inspiration is coming from, and it's something that is really cool. That's it for today. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Although I still assert my plan was not without its merits. Uh, pretty sure it's still just genocide, big guy. And I'm pretty sure it's efficient. Planet. 20 miles, not enough to go around. And when we faced extinction, I offered a solution. Genocide. But random, just passion is fair to rich and poor alike. They called me a madman. And once we get this to Wakanda, we're gonna save the world. Even in the darkest of times, humans will give all to save their planet. Even if it might bring an end to the universe.